you were certainly a lot more pregnant than last time I saw you. Oh, yeah. A lot it's more funny pregnant. how that happens, huh? Yeah, it just starts growing. Just I didn't know. blows huh? out there, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> so much so that you saw the horn right off your saddle. <laughs> I did. Yes, I did. Yep. So did you get in the saddle first and you're like, oh, hell, this is not going to work? Or was it like you kind of knew you'd have to do that? You know, I, I was still team roping at the time, and so I knew obviously you have to have a saddle horn. But um, I got to thinking to myself, and I was just thinking about the time and like what it would like, how big am I going to be by December? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I got to thinking, I was like, and I was just sitting there one day and I said, why do I even need a saddle horn? I don't need it. You know, I, I thought that's the only thing that scares me. There's no doubt. Obviously, I would not have roped if I'd have had any doubt in my mind that I'm hurting my child or hurting, you know, doing anything to harm her. And so I was just like, that's the only thing that scares me. If something crazy was to happen, if my horse was a stumble, if he was to get tight, if what, you know, for whatever reason, anything that happens, that's the only thing that's going to hurt her. And I was right. like, I don't need it. I'll take it off. So I took it off yeah. and we roped and it was, I've literally, I feel like I could stay roping for months. There was nothing uncomfortable about roping. I never, I mean, my toddler hits me in the stomach harder every day than I've ever been hit <laughs> while roping. <laughs> so. Well, okay. So I got to ask you, did you like buy some cheap, uh, cheap saddle to do it or did you tear up a nice saddle? Uh, I mean, it was a nice saddle. It was an older saddle that I happened to have, um, I was actually in Martin to get just like some, cause it was used and it had some things that needed to be fixed on it and whatnot and just little stuff. And so I, when I thought about it, I called them right then. I was like, Hey, is that saddle done? And they're like, well, no, not quite. I was like, all right, leave it in there, cut the horn off. And I mean, I'm sure they were like, what, you know, <laughs> what are you talking about? So I explained it to them real quick and they're like, okay, we'll do it. And I got on the phone with the PRCA and I got on the phone with, you know, all the judges, the, the WPRA and all that and made sure that, you know, they nobody gonna... was going to throw it because as soon as I do that somebody's gonna be like oh well that's not fair well so I got it approved throughout all the Jackie's lines. rope was two and a half <laughs> inches shorter yeah exactly exactly so anyways got it all approved and yeah you just tied you just tied your breakaway string around the swell and called well, it well you know what at first I tried to drive I drove like a steeple nail in the like where the rope would normally be like right there on the side of the horn mm -hmm. and I actually roped like that all the way through the WPRA or the WCRA finals and the WPRA finals and all that like that and the very last calf I ran at the WPRA finals it came out with nail. my rope <laughs> so, down the arena it went and I was like oh man I have to do something else then I got to the UPRA finals and we tried to fix it and I couldn't get it fixed there so I ended up tying it around the swell of the saddle just a longer string mm -hmm. and it worked fine but i was like well i'm gonna get this fixed before so we went through this process of putting this elaborate thing on there that had a ring and we screwed it into the top of the saddle like we did all this stuff so it sat exactly where my rope would tie on blah 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 first calf here yeah. first calf ring pops out and i was like seriously yep so i went back to tying it around the swell <laughs> and it worked the rest of the time so yeah <laughs> yeah well i'm really surprised that they didn't no one threw any kind of fit it's like oh, that is not sanctioned Oh my gosh! You, you know, know how they are. it's not over. I mean, we're not done yet. <laughs> you know, true. Honestly, that's true. We're not done yet. I can only imagine. Yeah, that is true. Well, I mean, kind of to circle back, because uh, that's super fun, and I'm just imagining what's going to be said. But uh, or you might have just set a trend, and all these pregnant ladies are going to start <laughs> cutting their horns off. I mean, it has been like a week of trends being set. Just so. patting a pregnant tree. Pregnant tree? Yeah. Yeah. Here's a tree for when you're pregnant. Buy it. <laughs> that's a good idea. Actually, that's a great business model. I mean, you can't rope forever. Right? Right. <laughs> yeah. There's my future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, anybody who had a mom who rodeoed, though, like if you were in utero, like, kind of scary. My mom, <laughs> my, mom was, my mom was going to rodeos all the way up until, like, she gave birth. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, she, I, she gave birth at the... Fort Collins Rodeo, I think, with me. And I was like, did you really go in there and do all that? Yeah. Like, that explains a lot. <laughs> I, like, I know um, cow horse gals that, I mean, like Sarah Dawson that just won the world's greatest, or mm -hmm. the, the snaffle bet. I mean, she, Chris said she took literally 16 days off. Really? Period. Wow. Period. Like, she kind of slowed down riding, like, you know, maybe running them down the fence and stuff. But she stayed riding and, and doing whatever, <laughs> you know, it just, uh, so I, it's just crazy. I think it's whatever's comfortable. Like I said, I, I talked to my doctor. My doctor was like, yes, he understands radio's daughter barrel races. He's like, if you feel comfortable, feel comfortable, you know, like he's like, do it. Don't, don't quit if you're not uncomfortable. And so I never got uncomfortable. Oh, no, thank That's goodness cool. you didn't. I mean, you are the first, you're the inaugural <laughs> world champion in the breakaway. That blows my mind. It's pretty awesome. That's, that's yeah. number so, one that that's a thing. Number two that I get to be it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, how? 
I don't know. We, I mean, we talked about this last time, and I encourage anybody to go listen to the episode with Jackie because you get to learn a little bit more about her. But uh, we talked about way back then about how exciting it is and how, like, quickly Breakaway has just blown up. Oh. And for everybody to embrace it, bring it here, do all that, I mean, it is mm-hmm. just amazing. And I really loved your interview with Haley, by the way. Now, what can't she do good? God. Oh, I know, right? God, Isn't she annoying. just, like, the cute? Oh, she's yeah, so it's cute. It's annoying how good she is at everything. I know, right? So good. I told her you need, she needed to start roping again. Yeah. You know, she roped good. She was a yep. good breakaway roper. Yeah, she was. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of those girls, her, Ariana Flynn, there's a bunch of those girls. She, she, she told me last night, she's like, after last night, I feel like I can do anything. I might just get me a horse and do it again. <laughs> said, yeah, she certainly has enough do. money to go buy a horse after <laughs> the last few nights. Yeah, go invest mm-hmm. in your, your future even more. Hey, yeah, man. yeah. But what has been your opinion of the whole event? I mean, the breakaway side, I mean, it was at a different time than everything else, which we obviously knew was going to happen. But, uh, I mean, what was your thoughts on the whole process? Um, you know, I, obviously there's people who are that's like, we're just so disappointed it's not in the perf. You know what? To me, this is a big step. And and I'm I'm so thankful for it, and I'm glad that they even put us where we are. And um, I think it was received really well. They said yeah. that the viewings on it A lot of were, people were watching it. Yeah. It was unbelievable. The viewing was unbelievable and so i i'm just hoping that that's why i was for having it even though it wasn't what everyone might not want that you know they kind of wanted the whole thing right at once but i'm like man this is a step in the right direction yeah i mean you got to take what you can get in your first i mean steer roping will never be in a perf right but breakaway will eventually i mean that's the goal they will put it in there at some point and that's what's so nice about the cowboy channel right if you look at the cowboy channel versus uh cbs sports there would be no chance no matter how much extra revenue break would have brought yep. in that it could have fit in that tv time but yep. the cowboy channel can kind of do whatever they want we've right. said that a few times so fitting right. breakaway in there wherever it may go i don't know where they would put it exactly but uh i think it's great heck they could even start with it they won't but they could yeah yeah it'd be great i think it will be well it's just a matter of time because it, it i mean it went over flawlessly oh it you know what and the girls like that top 15 they were awesome yeah they like, were. that was a was heck of a roping a heck of a rope. When you could bring it down to the top eight, you're thinking, all right, eight girls on one head, and it's like two, 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 three, two flat, and it, um, it's just like, holy smokes, you know, you're thinking these girls are making good runs, and then it's one, eight, one, eight, one, eight, and it's like, that's insane. Yeah. And, <laughs> and so they were they were awesome. And to be honest, that's, that's really what you guys needed to do to make it a big showing, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you guys mm-hmm. had to come out there just from, like, a, uh, a performance standpoint to really show that it belonged here yep. is to come out and... and kick ass like that and you guys had great calves too yeah they, they were good fast they were good you know we had a couple of different pins there was a slower pin two medium pins and a fast pin and i thought you know we all got together um the monday before and roped them at a jackpot well some of us roped some of us just watched but um and sorted them as best we could and that's mm-hmm. i thought they stayed together great yeah there was some I thought that so let too. up it maybe was... got a little slow for what they were but but it's so hard to pick cattle and have them stay. Oh, it is straight. I, like I mean, that. even in the tie down. I mean, if you were to look at the the calves in the tie down, I mean, it's been the same thing there. So. Oh yeah. I mean, that's just like for the American. You know, we sat there and put how many lists together and watched hundreds and hundreds of runs and watched these calves run over and over again and try to pick the very best ones. And then they're running all over the arena when we get to the American. It's like gosh dang. Yeah. It's so hard. Yeah. I mean, d- d- how did you feel about the setup here? I mean, the only thing you can really compare this arena to is the American. I mean, obviously they didn't yeah. divide it and it's a lot more open, but yeah, um, it's more like the some of the first Americans maybe yeah. Yeah, that they had. You know, actually, 2017. It's it's kind of funny because it's. The, it is just weird shaped like that, but um, they were actually going to set our score at two under, which would have been a foot longer than the calf ropers. Yeah. And, and you know, and we were kind of a little panicked about it just because of how this arena is. We were like, man, the calves are going to be running everywhere. Maybe we should just look at the calves first. Then we watched the jackpot um, uh, where the calves were, and I'm like, you know, they look good. It's whatever. But then they kind of came back, and they're like, whoever it was they said we don't want to make it different than the calf roping like let it be the same yeah, whatever it under. and in it i don't know what it would have looked like at two under but it looked good at, at three under and it, and it worked and i think you know those calves might have got a little dirty if we were having to see them another foot yeah you know, it's big because yeah. it's left and right they started going some left and right so who knows it we i don't know which way would have been better but it all i think it showed great like it was it did yeah, yeah. i mean i was just so impressed by it. literally <laughs> everybody how well everybody <laughs> did and uh just everybody put on the kind of show you have to put on for this sort of thing yeah. to be brought in and for it to be successful. But, I mean, who surprised you the most out of all, all the girls? Oh, you know what? <laughs> this, that's a hard question to answer. I know. Yeah. But, but I tell you what, that question, I was but. super proud of um, Martha Angelone. Yeah. She, 
you know, she is so fast. She's a gunslinger. She really is. I mean, she is one of those that you never think you're okay and around when, when she comes up. Mm -hmm. But even herself will tell you she's never been one that's like, if I had to put money on somebody that's going to go rope 12 calves in a row or 10 calves in a row and be winning the average, it wouldn't have been her. You know, and, and not take anything against away from her because her style is just this awesome style. It's super fast. Yeah, it's a round winning she style. She freaking, for sure. when it wasn't there, she just ran a couple more swings and roped them. I mean, it was impressive and, and definitely like, was like, wow, you made a hand. That was great. Yeah. She did amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the way did. it all panned out. I mean, she, she was a surprise. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really know much about, about her at yeah. all. So, yeah. um, it was exciting. And really for me personally, I think like, as far as legacy goes, I mean, it's either you or Larry or JJ needed to win it just for the legacy. Of this. That's just my opinion. Because those, those are my favorite breakaway ropers. Those are especially the names that have JJ, been around but, for a while. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's who, that for me, that's who I would want to see win it. Like right, the first right. one, when you look in the history books, it's got to be one of, one of the ladies mm -hmm. who have literally worked the hardest to make this happen. Right. And so I'm so happy that it, that it was you. And uh, I mean, I would have been happy if it was JJ as well. But uh, I mean, it's congratulations, first Thanks. of all. I mean, it's Thanks. so sick. And Thanks. you did it while you were great. pregnant. Like, you'll never forget it. <laughs> I know. I know. Hopefully my little girl will, will think it's cool one day. I bet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's been fun. Charlie got a round win and, and yeah. all that. So you guys are killing I know. it. I know. It's been it's good. good family time. It is great family time. You, you know what? I am. I, it's been so fun and we're soaking it up and we're going to love this and everything. But December 13th, I am sweatpants, feet up. We're, we're resting. We're resting as a family, <laughs> as a family for a several days. Yeah. Well, I think it's, <laughs> we're not doing I think it's well earned. <laughs> <laughs> it has been nuts. Yeah. Yeah, so we're ready for I that. mean, a lot more relaxed than, well, I mean, don't know what you're going to do next year, how much time you're going to take off, but when this whole deal's in Vegas and it's normal, get ready for that. Wow, I, I mean, know. you know what it's like I to know. be there with Charlie, but on your own, it can be very demanding. Yeah, it's it's wild. And, you know, I don't know which will be, you know, we were talking about that the other day, and, you know, before, though, since we've gone out there, Charlie ropes at night. Mm -hmm. Well, I rope all day, almost every day out there. Mm -hmm. So, like, we literally just kind of, like, pass as roommates <laughs> you know like the whole time a you quick never, hand slap yeah you never hey good luck tonight hey good job today pass you know like just it's just nuts and we're so tired and you know all the obligations out there and stuff and it's just kind of you you love vegas but you almost like dread like oh i'm fixing to get so sick and i'm fixing to be so tired and yeah. you know it's just a rat race and i'm like you know what if they do add breakaway then i can't even rope anywhere else and so yeah might actually be slower than it might be than it is now that's a good point it is crazy yeah yeah well and next year he'll be like extra helpful for you yeah right since he's not gonna he's taking some time off. i know i think he's, he's really gonna is he you would know better than he's really gonna do that you know that would be really hard he sold one of his good horses yeah and he he's still gonna go to houston he's still gonna go to san antonio he's gonna go to all those but i don't see him wanting to leave those kids he, his thing is that he says is that you know he wants to help his daughter make like the UPRA finals this mm -hmm. year and haul her around to like all the amateur rodeos and, you know, be there for Creed and be there for journey. And he just has no desire to get in the truck and leave for three months. It's just like totally against. I get it. His, Everybody yeah. gets to that point yeah. at some, at some oh, stage. Yeah. Some people get there really early. Like yeah. I was there like two weeks. <laughs> yeah. but I was like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, but this is nuts. Of course, if he goes in there and wins Houston, it kind of changes. Things, yeah. But. You know, that, that would be a total, like we would figure it out from there. I mean, right. we would just figure it out because luckily now the thing that is crazy is that now it's funny that he's like, okay, well, I don't want to leave for three months and be away from y'all. And it's like, oh, hey, my things are starting. So now I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Know? He's got to step up. He's got to be the home guy. <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's kind of You guys have weird. a good dynamic. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll get it figured out. But we'll, you got a good excuse. We'll you're going to, you're going to have baby on hip here really fast. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> Two of them. Yeah. No Two, doubt. I, I'm going to have two toddlers and a teenager. What in the world was I thinking? <laughs> Right. At least you won the uh, won the uh, national finals in breakaway <laughs> roping. At least you got that feather in your cap before you're just milk stained. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, exactly. man, that sure was fun. <laughs> sure have fallen a long way in a couple of months. Golly, I'm gonna have to hire a nanny <laughs> <laughs> to just go. Just somebody that likes to travel and rodeo and oh, you should. It shouldn't be. Kids. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, there's so many little girls out there. That's. I mean, my dad had interns always had 
the interns. That's you know, a good the idea. Unpaid interns. That Intern, last like three intern or four months signifies until free. I oh, like that. Exactly. <laughs> the interns. I can think of 20 or 30 interns. Amy Wilson used to be one of those interns. There you go. <laughs> interns. This is great. They last a few months this. and you just cycle them in. You're like, hey, I'll show you one or two things. Just enough to keep them there. That's what Kelly used to do. Just enough. Like, hey, let me help you nail your first barrel. Just enough. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay. And then by the time they're skeletons and they're walking out of there and they're bled for everything they're worth, do that. <laughs> yeah, there you It'll go. work out. There you go. Just swing your Interns. I like that. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Yeah. When they run out of things, just be like, okay, I've taught you everything I know, but in three or four weeks, keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to cut off your horn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You like that. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> well, all right, Jackie, we will let you get up there uh, right. before the team mm -hmm. open starts. And cool. thank you for stopping by and congratulations on the thank you. victory. Thank so, you. Super happy Appreciate for you. It. And uh, I hope the final stages of pregnancy go very well for you. <gasps> Me too. If there's such a thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you can say that about pregnancy in any way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks, well, Jackie. Thank you, guys. You got it. So there's something we learned a long time ago when we started the Gage podcast. It's that you barrel racers, you guys will consume. If there's a barrel racer on the show, you guys will support us. And we thank you guys so much for that. Well, it's time to support the industry, guys. Go enter the Royal Crown Fraternity Derby and Open Barrel Race. Here's the deal. $65,000 added to the fraternity that will be in Bryan, Texas this February, or this coming February, rather. And they've got another race in 2021. They've got the one in August, which will be in Rock Springs. Go to royalcrownrace.com or find Royal Crown on Facebook today. Uh, check out the stallions that are currently enrolled. Get those entry fees paid. There's, there's no annual enrollment fees. And you still have time to enroll your style, and if you want to be a part of that, go to royalcrownrace.com for more details.